Welcome to webwatchworld.com. This is a quick look at removing and replacing a snapback style watch case back using this inexpensive case press. Please visit webwatchworld.com for the full details on this project, including more photos and for other wristwatch reviews and information. Most quartz watches need batteries, which means removing the back of the watch. I'll show you one way to remove a watch back and to replace it using a case press. This case press may look impressive, but it can be found for as little as $25 or so. It's a basic casting with a lever and a selection of dies that are used to press a snapback case back onto a wristwatch. A tool like this can pay for itself in no time, and you can impress your friends with your watchmaker tools. The press comes with a selection of dies. The hollowed dies fit over the crystal, and the flat dies press down on the case back to snap it closed. I like nylon rather than aluminum dies because I feel like they'll be less likely to damage the watch. This fossil watch has a cheap metal snapback. It takes practice to remove this correctly, and the average owner probably won't get that practice changing a battery once every few years. An expert can pry the back off in a second with no scratching, but you can see I practice on this one quite a bit, and it's pretty scratched up. It's a good idea to use some protective wrap, like cellophane tape or clear food wrap, to protect the watch case. But since this is a practice watch, and I didn't want anything to get in the way of the video camera, I left it unprotected here. Usually there's a little tab on the case back that's used to pry the back off, and if they're nice, the manufacturer will even mold or machine a little recess in the watch case to allow you to slip the back opener in for more leverage. This one has just a little molded lip on the case back. You can barely see it. This is a special back opener tool that looks like an oyster knife. There are several different types, and this one probably isn't the easiest to use, but it works. With some practice, you can stick the edge of the opener tool under the lip and simply pry it off. An expert can do this so fast, it's like magic. Inside you can see this is a cheap quartz watch with the movement surrounded by plastic. And there's the battery. I replaced it not too long ago, and it sits in this little recess. The battery is usually surrounded by tiny metal arms, so be careful when you remove it. Sometimes it's not obvious how it's held in there. Also, remember to remember which side is up. The case back has a very thin o-ring around it to make it slightly waterproof. Depending on the watch, it may have one or more gaskets inside, so make sure you don't lose the gaskets and you have them all straight before you put the case back on. When replacing the back, make sure the lip is oriented in the same location it was before. Sometimes the back has to be correctly oriented to fit over the winding stem also. If you're really lucky, you can press it back on with your hands, but the easiest and best and I think safest way to do this is with the press. Find the correct dies to fit over the watch. The hollowed out die must clear over the top of the crystal, but have enough bite to press on the edges of the watch case. The back side uses the flat die. I find it better to use a slightly smaller diameter die that just fits inside the watch back diameter, which helps to snap it back onto the watch. The dies center themselves on the press, and then carefully align the watch between the dies. If everything is correctly aligned, it doesn't take much pressure to snap the back on. Don't force it, but usually you'll feel it or hear it snap back on. Check carefully to make sure everything is tight and you're all done. I'll show these other methods in more upcoming videos, but this is a sticky ball that's somewhat deflated. It has a sticky surface and it can be used to twist off a simple screw back on a watch. This other tool is a professional watch case back tool for screw-on case backs, like those used on very waterproof dive watches. It's a beautiful tool, it's very well made, and it comes with a selection of bits that fit the different size grooves used in some screw-down watch backs. The handle can be turned to adjust the position of the rear bit, and the wheel in the center is turned to adjust the width. After it's precisely adjusted to fit the particular watch, the screw on back can be removed very easily. I'll show you that in an upcoming video. It seems like there are as many tools for wristwatches as there are wristwatches, and each owner has their own favorite methods and tools. So that's a quick look at using a case press to replace a snap-on watch back. Please visit webwatchworld.com for the full review and more information on this procedure and for more wristwatch reviews and information. Thanks for watching.